Parashar have told you to analyze Sudarshan Chakra as a simple and easy method to predict. Using this particular method, this is simple, easy because you only have to consider this. And using this particular method, you don't have to use what is taught before. This is what Parashar is telling you. He's very confident that Maitreya, this is the method. This is the method which is non-contradictory to what is told before. Easy, simple, more accurate. But what he says is cryptic also. Not cryptic because he meant it to be. But cryptic because he is talking about this to Maitreya who is already a learned sage. He is not talking to us. So we have to put our mind into what Parashar is trying to say. So basically Parashar is telling you then in Sudarshan Chakra make three horoscopes. In a circular fashion make three horoscopes. Inside there should be normal ascendant, outside that there should be horoscope made from the moon ascendant and in the outermost circle there should be horoscope made from the sun ascendant. Okay. Then analyze all the 12 houses from these three reference points. Now as I have told you in my previous video also that considering one planet situated in a particular house and one planet aspecting that particular house when you consider all the three horoscopes, Lagana, Moon, Sun horoscope, there will be six influences in total. Now to decide between these six influences is a very tedious and troublesome task. So I don't think that Parashar further wants to confuse you. Right. Parashar wants to help you in a study. Right. My understanding of this is somehow slightly different. What I think is Parashar somehow is hinting at this particular by the mention of Sudarshan Chakra, Parashar is hinting that astrologically the manifestation of anything can happen in three ways. Right? So let's understand this point. One by one. Lagna. Ascendant. Uday Rashi. Whenever you analyze a particular house from Lagna, it indicates Lagna is what? Lagna is Bhava. Lagna is a house. Lagna is decided based on the birthplace. Right? Lagna is different for people at the same point of time. Lagna is time dependent. Lagna is earth dependent. For this particular reason, Chalit Chakra or Bhava horoscope that I don't use is specifically based on this reason only. Because Lagna is a phenomena decided from earth, planets in the sky are constantly moving and there can be no division between the Rashi and the house because one is based on the earth and another is based on the sky. However, Lagna is a house and as I always say, houses indicate emotion. So any house from Lagna talks about your emotions with respect to that particular area. Or rather you say your perception, what you think as the norm, what you think is the reality regarding that particular area. So second house will indicate your understanding, your concept, your emotion of money. Do you think that I should only earn that much money which is enough to sustain myself and my family? Rest, other money I should not earn. This is your concept. Or you are very much behind money. You are a money-minded person. Or you believe that money is evil. What is your concept? 
second house from ascendant we'll talk about fourth house talks what do you think is comfort you think uh you know a soft bed is comfort you think people loving you is comfort what do you think all of the family members living you is a comfortable scenario or you living isolated with your wife and child is a comfortable scenario what is your emotion what is your approach related to a particular area any area that is seen through the 12 houses of horoscope is decided by the lagna chart houses from the lagna chart and until and unless this condition is met there will be dissatisfaction this is a particular point you have to understand right so for this particular reason if there is you say mars influencing the fourth house your emotion is that your people should stand for you that gives you comfort and until and unless people are standing for you you will not feel comfortable you will not feel happy despite the fact that all other things may be there this is what the lagna talks about now the pressure is taking you much deeper into it come to moon horoscope moon is the lord of nakshatras moon is tara adhipati tara adhipati moon is the lord of the nakshatras and as i always say nakshatras is nakshatra something which cannot be destroyed this indicates non destructible result this indicates what will come to pass for sure so houses from moon ascendant will indicate those things that cannot be alleviated remedies cannot be done there is no escapism at all right so see if there is a you say if from moon the fourth lord goes to 12th house that means the source of happiness will be snatched away and there is nothing that can be done about it so you see moon is more related to events that is the particular reason why dashas are calculated from moon parashara system i am talking about in parashara system generally dashas primarily in a basic setup they are calculated from moon because moon being the lord of nakshatras indicating non destructible karma indicates what is going to happen that cannot be changed so talking of marriage if you want to see those results which will come to pass no matter what you have to check it from moon if there is a good combination in seventh from moon the person have to enjoy the bliss of relationship no matter how bad things are even by mistake the person goes into a bad relationship that's not an issue because good relationship is indicated from moon good relationship will be there either the same relationship will turn into good or there will be another marriage with a good relationship whatever be the case but what moon tells you happens for sure for this particular reason jaimini tells you rishi jaimini tells you that if a combination will come to pass or not if you want to know it by confidence you have to check moon any combination which is repeated from ascendant and repeated from moon also or any combination which is repeated from any factor and repeated from moon also will come to pass for sure 100% guarantee you analyze things from ascendant arud lagna navamsh anything anywhere sun ascendant anywhere you analyze from if the combination is repeating from moon the result is coming to pass for sure see only moon can also do it but primarily moon is taken as a confirmative factor 
a factor which confirms that what is seen otherwise will come to pass for sure guaranteed then comes the sun ascendant sun is the lord of rashi rashi as i always say rashi is the condition rashi basically means heat if you talk sanskrit it will be it, or hindi also like old hindi this will be us vyakti ne usko itni dhan rashi bhet ki itni suvarna rashi bhet ki to rashi means quantity dhan rashi means the quantity of wealth right rashi means quantity what is this quantity this is the quantity of first of all result quantum of result if you see maximum funda maximum rules related to the strength of planet because rashi is amount the amount in which the planet will impact is decided based on rashi is decided based on strength strength is decided by rashi so rashi according to me indicates the condition sun is the lord of that rashi and different houses from sun indicate in which conditions the result come to pass so house from ascendant what is your concept related to that particular house talking about seventh house what is your concept of that moon seventh house from moon is indicating what is actually happening in marriage and seventh house from sun is indicating what is that particular condition that is making this result happen what the moon is telling and making this experience happen that you are having that is seen from the ascendant a synchronization between the three will give you a proper look of the horoscope and your analysis will be more in depth your analysis will be better this goes without saying that your analysis will be better this goes without saying so basically what i understand that parashar does not want to increase to confusion or want to in, want to include many factors in prediction but he is actually giving you a deeper perspective of looking at things where you can make more precise and more life changing predictions i will illustrate this using a sample demo horoscope so basically two things i am illustrating number 1 in this particular horoscope if you can see Seventh house from ascendant is having Jupiter in his own sign. That means your emotion, your understanding, your approach related to marriage is of Jupiter. Jupiter indicates blessing. So you think that marriage is the biggest blessing. So Jupiter indicates dharma also. jupiter indicates spirituality also so your concept is your wife should help you spiritually as well your concept is following the dharma in marriage you believe that marriage have a dharma that have to be followed jupiter is the karak of a discrimination so you think your concept is that couples should be discriminative towards what is to be done what is not to be done etc etc there are limitations and one should confine to that limit only because you are couple does not mean you can break all boundaries with each other this is the concept that the jupiter is indicating will this concept be fulfilled or not jupiter is in own sign so absolutely yes because it is in own sign this concept this approach will come to pass it will be there giving you happiness not talking of event seventh from moon you will see 
there you will find K2 in Libra. This K2 in Libra, now aspect of moon you don't have to consider because of course it is moon horoscope. So in 7th from moon horoscope, the aspect of moon will always be there. Other than that, there is no special aspect as such. So there is K2 in the 7th house and K2, as you may know, it is told that K2 gives detachment. So detachment, separation, bitter experiences, going against each other, being confined to your limits and not sharing things with your partner is something that is destined, that will come to pass every day. In every relationship, in every marriage, if it is more than one marriage, this will come to pass for sure. The this is non-destructible. This is the event. So when I am looking at the horoscope from the perspective of moon, event prediction is my basic point. And moon, for this particular reason, whatever is seen through moon repeats again and again. Every relationship, it will be the same story. It will be the same thread. And lastly, when you check the seventh house from sun, you see it is the sign cancer. There is no specific aspect as such, but the Lord of Cancer is in Aries, fourth house from Sun with Rahu. So, Sun indicates condition. Cancer will indicate emotion. Cancer will indicate love. Cancer will indicate care. The Lord Moon is going into Aries, that indicates fighting. It is going with Rahu that should indicate deception. So, in marriage, if one wants to enjoy marriage, or you say, the events related to marriage will be as such that it will make the person more emotional. It will make the person fall in love. It will make the person care for their spouse. But, Fighting conditions will also be there. There will be conditions related to deception as well. These things cannot be ignored at all. Sun tells me that no matter how this person is, seventh from Sun is Cancer. So his marriage will force him to become emotional, become loving and become caring, will force him to have these traits in his personality. If not in all areas, then at least in marriage, these emotions are highly needed. And his marital life cannot be happy until and unless he have these emotions implemented in his marriage. And also, the condition for a good relationship, the condition for a sustained relationship is that there should be fights between the couple. It looks bad, it, it, it looks contradictory, but because the Lord is going into Aris, Aris Rashi, it does indicate that the conditions in marriage will be as such that there will be fights, and after every fight, the couple will understand each other better. And because of conditions, it is not because of emotion, it is not destined, but because of some condition or the other. The spouse will deceive the native. The spouse will cheat the native. It is not like the spouse wants to do this. It is not that it is the nature of the spouse. But because of some conditions. The spouse have to do this. This is what these three factors indicate. I am pretty sure that by this analysis that I have done. This live example that I have done. You have clearly understood how this needs to be done. How by the simple hint of Parashar that the horoscope is to be seen from three reference points, just by this simple word, word Parashar takes you 10,000 feet deep down in the ocean of astrology, revealing you those hidden secrets that you cannot think otherwise. Now, Another point that I have mentioned in between regarding moon was confirmation. Now you see in this horoscope talking of wealth. 
this is my singular focus second lord is going into sixth house eleventh lord is going into eighth house this is from lagna lagna indicates bad finance now let's talk of sun from sun the 11th lord goes to 5th house the second lord is in the second house itself sun indicates good finance if sun and lagna both indicated good or both indicated bad it will still wait for the approval of moon and it will go the way where moon takes it right now it is the best scenario lagna is indicating bad finance sun is indicating good finance what will happen that moon approves talking of moon second lord is going into 11th house 11th lord is in 11th house itself so moon also indicates good finance technically speaking you should say that this person will be rich this person will be wealthy and there is no doubt about it if you only go by ascendant predicting bad finance will be dubious moon is the confirming factor if lagna or sun both are indicating the same thing but moon is not confirming it the result will be weaker result coming to pass is 50 lagna or sun indicating different things moon will support one will make the result happen so moon gives you confirmation in your prediction confidence in your prediction this is clearly told by gemini and clearly hinted by parashar and because it is the opinion of two great sages of astrology if you ignore this your astrological practice is going to remain incomplete hence this should not be ignored there are many such secrets which parashar have told in this small chapter in which he dealt about sudarshan chakra singular chapter where he have dealt about sudarshan chakra dasha also and the analysis of horoscope using sudarshan chakra method also a small chapter with a lot of hidden secrets that i have decided to uncover according to the best of my understanding in the two day webinar that we are going to do on 6th and 7th of february 8 pm indian time onwards in that webinar admissions are open and if you wish to learn sudarshan chakra uplift your level of astrological knowledge make predictions with confidence and time events with ease you should join the webinar i will drop the description i will drop the link to the web page of that webinar which deals with description of the webinar and payment and all of that a link to the same i will drop in the description section below